a very good morning you lovely lot I'm just trying to find the right lighting it is extremely early this morning uh, I've just arrived at the McLaren Center here in Woking uh, obviously due to the uh, Geneva Motor Show being cancelled which was a massive bummer for everyone uh, McLaren's decided to have their own McLaren Motor Show so uh, just about to jump onto the shuttle and uh, they're going to reveal a new car which is supposed to be part of the new LT so I'm gonna head on in and uh, check it out just arrived. Who have we got here? Oh, Hello, yeah. Mr. Wallace. Another man that has no clue how to use his camera. <laughs> Join the club. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. It's uh, quite early. I'm keeping the sunglasses on until I have to take them off at the, the um, McLaren Centre here. It's actually such a beautiful day. We've got to go, we've got to go. Into the elevator, up we go. No, no, we're not going, we're not going. Abort, abort, back to the view. <laughs> As I was saying, very lucky here today. Beautiful weather and this place always amazes me when I come here. It's just so beautiful and serene and just absolutely lush. Obviously we've got lots of cars. If you've never been uh, to the McLaren Centre before, it is uh, pretty impressive and absolutely spotless. done a bit of a tour here before so I'm not really sure if we're allowed to walk down there this morning they're quite strict about filming here but I'll show you these cars in the meantime and this is the uh, IndyCar 1974 Johnny Rutherford this thing is absolutely massive it looks like a spaceship I'm assuming that's What's in there? It's undercover. Is that under there? I think it's there. Why are we going upstairs then? I don't know. Should we just go in? Hopefully for open? coffee. Should we just go in just and reveal it ourselves? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, guys, we we just place our cameras down and we can both reveal it together. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is gigantic. I know. And then I was just looking at this. How mad is this? Both those massive wings on there. Not dangerous at all. Cool. Well, we're just, I think we're just waiting for this elevator. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. And then hopefully some sort of coffee product. We'll give a bit of a VIP route down to the uh, announcement. <laughs> but we're here and it feels very very special good morning everybody uh, a special welcome to those of you watching from around the world and to everybody here at MTC in Woking the home of course of McLaren Automotive for this the first ever McLaren Motor Show to tell us then a little bit more about why we're here please welcome McLaren Automotive CEO Mike Fluitt because normally we're in Geneva and yet it feels strangely right. Now, we're here, of course, born of um, rather more difficult circumstances, uh, given that the entire car industry was expecting to be in Geneva for the Geneva Motor Show, and yet we're here in your stunning head office. Yes, and, you know, we're sorry not to be in Geneva due to the concerns raised by the coronavirus, but we do need to be respectful of the situation. And the upside is, that we're here coming to you from the McLaren Technology Centre, the home of McLaren. So we give a very warm welcome to the entire team here because normally they would have weeks, probably months, <laughs> in order to get you to this point and they've only had, what, hours really? What's it been like behind the scenes? Well, it's, it's been incredibly busy and as you know, behind the scenes there's an awful lot going on and there has been since Friday when the organisers of the Diva Mud Show made the responsible decision, and a decision, I must say, that we fully support. But we also have a business to run, and we have responsibilities to our customers, our suppliers, our employees. So it's been a, a huge effort by the team, but the McLaren team are nothing if not agile and innovative. The McLaren 765LT. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome former Indy 500 winner 
IRL champion and McLaren chief test driver, Mr. Kenny Breck. And what is it? What is that field that you are looking to create? Well, this is an LT module, and that's all about uh, driver engagement, you know, and, and, and performance, of course. You know, lots of power, low weight. Um, but the key to be able to use that uh, uh, performance is, is that the car needs to be able to communicate with you clearly, give you feedback as a, to the driver. It, it's, it, you want the car to, to talk to you and, and, and tell you what it's going to do before it does it. So it's not all about performance, it's, it's about getting the linearity and the, the, the predictability. And when that all comes together, it's an amazing feeling, and that's an LT. Trying to get in first with the photos. Archie gone, back quarter. Archie Bold's here. Nice new haircut. <laughs> Literally just barged in before everyone else. Oh, here's the Elva. Looking mighty fine. They're doing a little walk around quickly before um, everyone piles in here. Um, so this is the Nardo Orange. And I think... You feel me? Are you on? I'm just going to sneak around you really quickly. I'm going. <laughs> I think this is the coolest colour I've ever seen on a car in my life. It's a little bit more... Um, it's not as orange in real life inside I'm not even sure I'm supposed to be here right now but I'm doing it anyway that's such a cool little detail with a carbon fiber there all right got to move out the way just having a little look at this uh, paint job on the GT here that's pretty cool so we had this in uh, Saint Tropez It's a nice little trip, south of France. This looks awesome though. Being ushered into another room with the other car that they're filming. So we'll just keep quiet. This is so cool, oh my god. All the detailing is insane. Oh, I love that. Teas and coffees and food. Hunter's here with his new haircut. Exactly. Hello. <laughs> yeah, Let's see this side. Let's yeah, see this side. Something happened. <laughs> oh my God, we're going to get a little sneaky peek inside. Honestly, up close, I'm trying to get as much as I can, but it is just awesome. Oh or you can talk me around. I'm talking. Hunter's talking us around the uh, the Elva because I've actually not even seen it. Um, and made out of three pieces of carbon. Yeah, so the, the, the central structure of the car, there's there's three single pieces of carbon fiber. And if you can spot them, but you've got um, a front front clamp here. One and then the second piece runs two. all the way around, all the way over here. And then that's split in two. And then there's and another the piece side. on there. <laughs> and then the, the doors themselves have one single piece of carbon and they're actually hollow. So running through here is air that runs into the radiators. It's really the helpful engine. having uh, someone who knows but yeah, apparently I know <laughs> the insides know. out of the, all the McLarens. Obviously the making this car very light. It kind of falls into the interior. Is it so comfortable in there? I, I feel think like the thing people will feel be like I might have by. some back issues in there. No, no, you'll no? be very comfortable. Can I reach the pedals? You can definitely reach the pedals. Okay. I'm almost check, check, check. Good. So the other thing this car does, which is really cool, is we have this active air management system. Okay, so, so the intake here at the front. This air comes in at the front here. Oh. Yeah, comes in, gets fired back out that way. All right. Oh. And there's a gurney here which can deploy, which also disrupts airflow. So basically, if you're sat 
as a passenger or driver, it's like having an air curtain windscreen that fires air over the top of your head. So it goes straight About over the top of your head. Hour, you can have a conversation with each other. It wouldn't feel like you're on a motorbike yeah. without a helmet. Obviously, without something. saying that, obviously, there is no windscreen. <laughs> so this little guy and that yeah. little system stops that yeah, exactly. coming straight into your face, which is extremely, extremely clever. Aerodynamically, to direct air around you. Yeah. This whole single instrument cluster is a one pod that moves back and forward as a whole. Right. Oh, look, yeah, I see that. Just come around this side. So that whole thing underneath there. The entire thing moves back and forward as one single component. Right. And then here, we have the active dynamics panel on all McLarens basically controls how the car feels. So here you've got handling, there you've got powertrain. Normally that would be on the central yeah. instrument cluster, but with this car it's so driver focused. We've moved everything here so you can basically right, change with your fingers how the car feels. Okay, moving around the back. So another kind of really cool part of the car is actually the way the exhaust works and the frequency of the exhaust. So if you imagine these are top exit, like on a 600 LT, that's firing noise back into you in the cabin. These guys here, high pitched, high frequency, they're throwing noise back out. So we, there's a kind of musicality. Everyone to the car. shares the love of Everyone the. Everyone shares the love. The, the love noise. of the noise. Exactly. We like that. Exactly. What a lineup. All these cars, got the GT at the back there, the new 765. I was a bit dyslexic this morning, I was like 7665. 675, 7, 765, yeah. There's a lot of numbers seven, going six, on five. now, McLaren, yeah. And then obviously the new Alva. And quite a successful morning, I think. So, um, do this every year then? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sold by just having yeah. better Wi Fi. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm just Geneva. sold by having a great view and not just. Uh, yeah, this Closed is an inside a place box. to go to work too. Yeah, every it's day. not bad. There isn't really anywhere else like this. Awesome stuff. Sorry, I got distracted by saying hello to everyone at McLaren. Special thanks to Hunter for taking us around the car. That was really helpful. That's the first time I've actually ever seen it. So uh, it was pretty magnificent up close. Uh, yeah, guys, so that was the McLaren motor show obviously as we all know like i said before the geneva motor show was cancelled uh which is obviously frustrating for me for work wise and for you guys to see all the cars but hopefully i know they streamed it live anyway but i thought i'd give you a little behind the scenes of uh, what was going on there uh today and yeah it was really good to catch up with everyone it was actually nice though because at the geneva motor show the staff uh all the staff members and the team don't ever get to go and see the launch so it was actually really nice to see everyone as like a big fan watching it and being proud of their product and and yeah just being involved in all of that so thank you to McLaren for the invite and for chauffeuring me there which was very nice of them and yeah guys as you can see I'm back into YouTube I'm trying to do uh, uploads every Sunday which is my slot at 5 30 um, which is so far two weeks has been going well except for this Sunday it didn't because of the Formula E but that's why I'm gonna do this vlog today so the sooner I stop chatting to you the sooner I can get editing and hopefully get this out today so I'll throw in one in the weeks when I can uh, but the next one is Sunday for the Formula E and it was a great weekend and I hope you guys enjoyed that vlog as well I'm gonna go and uh, get editing on this video don't forget to like subscribe and comment for all future videos to come I'll see you guys really soon bye